BMW is feeling cocky about their X1, so they're releasing some info on the next generation. Ken Block is copping Gymkhana 5 styles in San Francisco, and BMW sets its sights on the Mercedes CLS shooting brake. Plus, yes, you know what that sound means. Commenter of the week. What's up, world? Good to see you guys again. Hope you had an enjoyable 4th of July weekend, America. I did. I'm Derek D. This show here is Fastlane Daily. Thanks for tuning in. I want to drive race cars for a living. I'm racing guys that are twice my age, and they don't think I should be here until I win. All right, it's not crazy to say that the small SUV crossover market has definitely been saturated in recent years. I mean, the X3 wasn't really a hit for BMW, but it turns out the BMW X1 has been a little success machine. Yeah, and now we've got some specs emerging about the next generation X1 coming in 2015. Autocar says the crossover will use the front drive UKL platform to be used in a few mini models and the 2013 BMW 1 Series GT. This should cut production costs and add interior room with some nicely equipped four-cylinder engines. Considering there's bound to be parts sharing with the next generation Mini Countryman, expect the Haldex all-wheel drive as an option too. Talk about a hand-me-up Mini to BMW. Hand me down, hand me up, right? That's what I was getting oh, yeah. at? Okay. Gymkhana 5, yes, that debuted today and they tore up San Francisco. Now obviously we can't show you much at all of this almost 10 minute video here, but it's another badass example of awesomely fun driving, great editing, tons of camera angles, solid music choice I might add, and the last and most important thing, if you have a ton of money and a lot of sponsors, you can do it too. The link is in the description below for you to enjoy. Kudos to you, Ken Block and the whole crew over there at DC and Ford and Monster and well the list goes on. On the heels of Mercedes revealing that CLS shooting brake production car, yep, that right there, the rumor mill has turned out something very interesting, a possible 6 Series Grand Touring based off the Grand Coupe model. The rumors stem from BMW's head of devel development, sorry, disclosing that they had made a shooting brake concept, but no reveals ever came from that. Now, however, there are reports that 2014 could bring the new GT model with a sloping roofline and short rear windows. There would be a slew of 6 Series engine options, including a potential M version using a twin turbo 4.4 liter V8, pushing out how many horsepower max? 252. You're wrong, 552, <laughs> but close, to rival the CLS shooting brake AMG. I guess the Cadillac CTS-V wagon won't be the only family muscle car on the market for much longer. Holler to theophilistian.com for the renderings. Did I say that right? The Aphilistian. Or the Aphilistian, Theo, Philistian, whatever. Thanks for the renderings. Oh, and a real quick, this year's Pikes Peak race has been rescheduled for August 12th after the Waldo Canyon fires in Colorado delayed the race. That's just uh, FYI for those who are interested. All right. You guys know what time it is? I do. I have a clock right here. All right, what time? 10.17. Well, that's not what I'm looking for. I'm looking for it's commenter of the week time, right, Leo? Uh, yes. Yes. See, Leo. Here's what time it really is. I know. Damn right. Damn right. Commenter of the week. Comment our show. Yeah, commenter of the week. Comments. Good job. So we only really had two episodes last week, you know, with the whole FLD Rewind and then the special. So I just picked another self-gratifying comment for FLD. It's from commenter Rob X 666 Interesting YouTube name there, my friend. Anyway, he said, Uh, Derek, you crack me up. Big, happy face. Love the show. Watch it every day. Greetings from Portugal. Insert Spanish guitar sound here. There you go. I want FLD shirt. And there it is. That's the, uh, <laughs> that's the entire comment. Good one, Rob X 666 Looks like there was also 36 people who thumbed up this comment as well, so I guess people liked it. You will be getting a t-shirt, my friend, but I think we're running a little bit low, so we may not have your size, I'm just saying. So we'll send you something. Expect a YouTube email and we'll fill you in with the info. 
All right, that'll do it for Fast Lane Daily today. I'm Derek D. Tomorrow, right here on Fast Lane Daily, will be the second half of the BR5 and FLD Cross Show Promogenation, where Desi Sanchez and myself talk about five more athletes and their cars. So don't miss that. Also, we are on Facebook, and we're on Twitter, and we're on YouTube. Also, subscribe on iTunes, my friends. We're there. And buy some T-shirts. Represent FLD. All right, hope you're having a good Monday, and I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Goodbye. Hello, everybody. I'm here with Desi Sanchez from BR5, your daily dose of sports and pop culture news. By the way, I'll be on her show, she'll be on my show, and subscribe to her channel. Thank you. Right on my channel. <laughs> Whoa. Don't push too hard. Yeah, that might hurt. <laughs> Jim Connor 5, yes, it had debuted today. It had debuted today? Let's go back. Yeah. Ow, we're living in the fast lane, baby.